Welcome to the show now that we've settled into our new home on YouTube. Though not entirely free of the clutches of that other website, as we continue to battle to regain our back catalog of shows. At the insistence of the suits upstairs, the boys in legal have completely reworked our blanket disclaimer since our last show. So let the disclaiming begin. All intellectual property rights in relation but not limited to the said parent company are reserved and owned by said parent company. If any of the points in this... I need to get my own show. I'm sick of this green screen. And this chick is really holding me back. I'll call it the Untitled One Man Movie Review Show. And it'll be completely different. I'll use a blue screen. Missing or non-missing, sentient or non-sentient. Reg US Pat off. Now, if that doesn't provide clarity, I don't know what would. Did you get the memo from upstairs? Yeah, something about a meeting with the suits from the parent company today? Where's this supposed to happen? I don't know, they really didn't say. Hello, talent. I believe that's what they call you too, the talent. As you know, the entertainment industry took quite a hit in the last fiscal year. Yeah, you know we're doing our show right now. Oh, I think your movie geek minions can wait a couple of minutes for your pearls of wisdom so we can take care of a little business. We up in corporate have been taking a hard look at our various expenditures and returns, and we've been seeing less and less of a return from our investment in this gab fest. And it doesn't help that your bleeding buku centavos fighting those various lawsuits you two keep running headlong into like a couple of drunken sailors. So, what are you trying to say? We feel that this very high quality green screen could be put to better use elsewhere with someone like a Drew Carey or a Jerry Seinfeld. But that's a big part of our show. I mean, haven't you heard our tagline? In front You've of You've gotta the... be kidding me. You don't even composite anything on it. But put this in the hands of a Drew Carey? TV gold. Look, We've pretty much left you two to your own devices down here, but now it's crunch time, and somebody's gotta get crunched. We're just catching our stride since we left that other website. Uh, I mean, we'll even go back into PBS mode if we have to. Don't tempt me. Believe me, we can shut you down faster than you can say Waterworld. Like any good cliffhanger, I'll give you until the end of this episode to provide me with a reason not to pull the plug on your little dog and pony show. By the way, when you read the disclaimer, I don't hear a lot of sincerity. Um, well, on with the show? How are we going to stay on the air? Calm down. How can you be calm at a time like this? I have a tranquilizer. It doesn't look like a tranquilizer. You'll feel quite tranquil in a moment. Take a look at our new contract negotiator. What? This is a little something I acquired on some currently unnamed suits. Like what? Enough compromising footage to make Tiger Woods look like Will Smith. In some cases, Mr. Rogers. A creepy pedophile? No! Look, this is our insurance of a long fruitful career on TV, thanks to the rather kinky and perverse habits of the boys upstairs. Well, all right. You better guard that disc with your life. Oh, you think this is the only copy? A certain lawyer has a copy with instructions to release this disc to the press. Oh. If anything happens to me or anyone connected to oh. me. Well, at least anyone on a list that I provided. So who else is on that list besides me? Uh, you could be added. What do you mean added? So I forgot. Despite the big buzz that preceded the recent release of the Apple eye patch, that buzz has now turned to bust. Problems with the eye patch began cropping up with users in the form of headaches, dizziness, nausea, and in some extreme cases, uncontrolled bowel movements. Don't I know it. Can anyone say depends? Now maybe I can sue somebody. Apple has recalled the eye patch for retooling and plans a relaunch soon. Earlier this month, I went on a road trip to do a little snooping around to the place where what happens there stays there. And that could only be Vegas. You were out there two weeks. It must be some special report. Oh, it is. Let's get special.
that's your special report? Yep. What exactly were you reporting on? That you're some kind of nut? Well, it was your nutty idea to get the eye patch. Whoa there, Coltrane. Did you call me Coltrane? What? You called me Coltrane. No, I didn't. And what if I did? What are you going to do about it? Oh, all right. I get it. Look, I have no desire to help you live out your Royal Tannenbaum movie fantasy. Oh, come on. Do the Danny Glover lines. You're perfect. You're practically black. What do you mean, practically black? You know, when I look at someone, I only see a person, not a color. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Just so we can do the scene, of course. Come on, say the line. What's going on here? It was only a dream. Or was it? Of course it was only a dream. How could any of that stuff happen? I don't even like Vegas, much less special reports, and the suits would never come down here. They'd email us. How did you know what I was dreaming if it was? Was what? A dream. Oh, well, it was a, a lucky guess. You're not that good of a guesser. Oh, yeah? Just ask me what number I'm thinking of. What? Ask me. What number are you thinking of? 27. So there. You probably had no idea, right? What are you doing here? I just happened to be in the neighborhood. This is starting to feel like the dream again. I won't feel right until I'm in front of a green screen. How's that? <sighs> I feel so much better now. There's no place like home. Not so fast, moron, eh? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.